Welcome back developers. Now let's set up ES for building our projects. To do that, open the terminals and run ES build colon configure, which will then configure ES to build our projects. So it's asking me, would you like to automatically create a ES project for my username slash the app name? I will enter and it will take some time. Now it's asking me which platforms would you like to configure ES build for? I will select all. And as you can see, we got a ES for JSON file. And inside the app.json file, we also got a project ID, which is used to link the local project to the cloud. Now, if I come to my project section in the export dashboard and I refresh it, I would be able to see ES app with the same project ID. Now let's explore inside the ES.json file. So what is ES.json file? It's a configuration file for Expo application services. It defines settings for building, submitting and updating your Expo application. And inside the build key, you can see three keys we have right now, development, preview and production. So these are called as profiles. Profiles are groups for configuration within ES.json file. It allows customizing builds for our different environments. So we can name them anything. I can name them who or bar as well. So you can specify the configuration over here. For every configuration, you can build a project through that. And in the development profile, as you can see, the development client is true. So the development client gives us debugging features and hot loading while we build our application. And in the preview, we, we don't have anything else. We just have distribution internal. So distribution internal means it's for internal distribution. We don't want to submit it to the Apple store, Apple store or the Android store. So that's it. Now to build a project. So basically before we build a project, we need to, I'll just clear some clutter over here and add some application icons and splash screen. So I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead and cleared some clutter in the application and also added application icon and splash screen for Android and iOS as well. Now let's get started and build a project. So before building a project inside the development profile, I'll add a key of iOS and inside here I'll add simulator to be true which will allow me to run this development build on my iOS simulator as well which is this because currently I don't have a Apple device so I need to run it on a simulator so to do that you need to add a iOS key and inside that you need to set the simulator key to be true so now let's start building a project to build our project we will run es build so the dash e flag is for the profile we have three profiles development preview and production we want the development profile because we want live auto loading whenever we make changes to our project and also some debugging features so we'll choose development and dash p flag is for platforms so we need to build for both android and ios so i'll select all And now it will take some time to build the project. It will ask me to generate a new Android key store. I will select yes. And we will compress and upload the Android files to yes. And also the iOS ones. Now our builds are in progress. So we will get back when our builds are completed. So both of our builds have been completed. We also get a QR code uh, which we can scan and install it on our devices. It's asking me to install the Android build on the emulator. So this is my Android emulator. I will press enter and it will download and install the application on this Android emulator. So let's wait while it's getting downloaded and installed. It has installed on my Android emulator. Now it's asking me to uh, install the build on my simulator. I'll again press enter. And 
let's wait for it get to get installed in the simulator as well it has downloaded the archive and you will see the application in some moments right now it's installing on the simulator so now both of our builds have been installed in the emulator and in the simulator now if we go to the home screen we can see the standalone app with the application icon and the splash screen as well same in the android side we got a standalone application let's move it in the home screen as well oh it's all fine notice it's it comes with a development client which gives us helpful features like auto reloading and stuff you also get the extensions tab over here which we will explore on later let me just open the app and to start the development server we need to run in npx expo start and i'll clear the cache by running the dash c flag now it will take some time to start the bundler so diff client is started and as you can see we are using the development build and to open it on android we need to hit a and to open it on ios we need to hit i but we can also fetch the urls from the diff client by pressing here and just open it and i will do that for ios as well and look it has started bundling our js code as well let's wait for it now it has bundled our javascript code and finally we can start developing our applications now if we press m over here it opens a development menu in which we have got really nice features we can open the js debugger toggle the element inspector and also the performance monitor as well so we get that in both android and ios now if we make any changes over here let's say change like i change it to home page mm, let's let's change the background color over here let's change it to red and as you can see we got fast refresh over here which is really cool when developing the applications so that was it for creating a build using es app es services so stay tuned for the next one